Right, hi, I'm Stephanie from Share the Love. Um, I've been running the group for about two years now, um, basically for the homeless people or people that are struggling over Christmas that can't afford to buy, you know, the, the decent stuff for their house. I started two years ago um, because it was a particularly cold Christmas and I asked my friends for clothing and, and like blankets to help out and I gave them to the Sally Army and we distributed those. But then after Christmas, my friends kept bombarding me with things like, do you want toys, do you want clothes and everything else? So it sort of continued from there. Um, it's been going, like I said, for about two years now. At the end of this month, it'd be two years. And I collect anything, anything that's in your house, anything that you want in your house, somebody else will need if you no longer need it. Um, there's like 600 people on my books now. I also deal with a few organisations. Um, they and I distribute. It's a free service, so if you know anybody, you can recommend them or just message me. Uh, and it's just everything, everything in your house, from your kitchen, your bedroom, your bathroom, clothes, shoes, toys, accessories. I even take half bottles of shampoo. You know, just anything like that that will because you can make them into small things so you can give them to the hospitals for people that have come in or people that have just gone into a drug rehabilitation centre. Um, you give them blankets, clothes, you know, because some of these people are just find it really difficult to, you know, manage on, on their benefits or even. I mean, I do have people that come to the house and they say, look, I'm not, you know, I, 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 I've got my first flat and whatever else, but because they're on benefits, they do struggle quite a lot. Um, people do look at them differently, you know, to you or I. They just think that, you know, they're not worth it. They're not good enough to be helped. But I do have people that I've been seeing for two years. It's like I had a couple of families where they've had their children come to me where they've been pregnant and it and I always say to them right I'll give you the newborn baby clothes but when the child gets bigger bring back the newborn I'll give you the next size and I've got like children coming now that are two that are walking and you know they come to see the Santa and stuff and it's it's it really makes your heart burst you know what I mean to see that these people are doing so well okay if you'd like to contact me or you'd like to donate then you can contact me on Facebook. My group is called Share the Love, Stephanie May. Um, the reason I say Stephanie May is because there's quite a few Share the Love on Facebook. Um, if you're not sure what you can donate, then there is a pin post at the top of the page and um, that will give you an idea of what you can donate for me. Apart from the, the Christmas fair and the Father Christmas that's going on this year, I'm also doing a food collection um, you can either contact me on Facebook and I will give you my address for a drop-off point but also Nicola and Paul are very kindly offered at the Wheel Inn um, on Midway and they have a collection bin in there so you can either drop off your unperishables or maybe some treats for the children you know chocolate sweets a small toy of some sort well, um, I'm Little Jory, I'm the landlady of the Wheel Inn in Midway, in Swaddling Coat, and um, I met Steph through popping in as a customer, um, and she in introduced herself and told us what she does, so it's a case of, yeah, we'll help her out when she wants to do these sort of things, and she's doing this food drive for people that need things over Christmas, in fact she does it all year round, but this is a bit more specialised, so... We said we'd get our customers to dip in and fill our bin. Do you like that? It was fine. They actually jumped at the chance. Yes, it wasn't did. like, please, could you? It was like, I'm doing this. Please don't feel that you have to because I'm a regular. And they actually jumped at the chance to be a part of it and to help me to help other people, which was really nice. I think I think it's a good thing that she's doing. It's it's not a major charity like all the big, you know, breast cancers, McMillan's and that. I mean, we'll do anything and help anyone out with if we can. But uh, this is a bit more personal, so. It's lovely. <laughs> so yeah, we're always willing to help. Definitely. Um, <coughs>